Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius the Retrobait. I'm trying to remember to say that correctly because once or twice I've got it wrong. Where are we? This is called the Underearth, E2M7. I th is this the secret level or did we beat that? Um, it's been a few days, several days. Uh, we've had a whole a holiday, a Christmas, a time off. I think if I follow that, maybe it doesn't explode. Who cares? I did it right. Uh, I remember this. We must have died since. Uh, and I went, okay, screw it. Rage quit some while ago. And now we're back here. So we're running around collecting things. No, this is a secret level. Okay, good. We're still in the secret level that I found. I've never played this episode of Quake before. I want you all to know that and remember. Be fully aware that I am uh, completely in the blue. About in the blue. In the black. In the grey. In the red. I'm in the... That hurt. Quite a lot. <laughs> I'm in the, the dark. I'm in the various places. I don't know where I am uh, about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this, 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 this secret level. Just wrote. Heck it. Uh, but here we are playing it. I didn't know that I was going to find it. I didn't know where to look. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm, I'm the best at this game. So, welcome back. It's now past the uh, the time of year we don't talk about, CR Hmus, and there's a secret button. Can you see that? That's perfect timing. Open. Uh, let's use let's use this one because it's cheaper and we have pod damage, so we don't need to worry about it. Uh, we Yeah, how was your Christmas break? Mine was pretty okay. We took our dog to see my parents' dog. That wasn't really why we... <laughs> that's not why we move around from here and there. We went to see my parents um, because they live all the way off in Manchester. I live in stupid rugby, so I think I've accidentally inverted the uh, scroll wheel. I had a little bit of trouble when I came back because I wanted to test the... Um, so... Right, let's rewind a little bit and talk about what has happened. I accidentally bought two new discs. I intentionally bought one new disc, but then there was another new disc, which I didn't mean to buy. Is that hurty water, or did I get attacked? Yeah, it's hurty water. Okay. No push. Uh, I'm hoping to find maybe a uh, environment suit, because there's something down there. It's definitely a secret. Or at least maybe we just run through it and hope for the best, because it's not hella hurty water, which means you're probably supposed to go in it. Let's try it. You know, in for a penny. Um, on camera, I'm just going to do this. Next weapon up. Oh, previous weapon, shoulder buttons. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, good. Let's just do it. We're already running as fast as we possibly can. Oh, well, there is one, and it's here. Super splendid. Um, accidentally bought two discs. I only wanted one disc, but the website decided problems happened. It was their fault and I didn't notice. But what was my fault was that I didn't notice when I was in the checkout stage that I was being charged double. What I believe was their fault was how bloody confusing can a website be in 2018 when all you want to do is buy a disc. Yeah. Uh, I, I tried to run Minecraft, modded Minecraft, not boring Minecraft, so you know, it's going to take a few system resources. Bear in mind, this system can run, and you've seen it, run a Doom 2016 at full everything, and record it without batting an eyelid. You know, we didn't drop a single frame as far as I know. It even didn't take that long to... Uh, to, to, to yikes, there's the one behind me. Probably one behind me. Uh, to load the levels, etc. You know, I don't feel like we were waiting forever for things to happen, and yet this computer can't launch <laughs> a simple, uh, heavily modded Minecraft because job. We might have just, we've, we've been here before. The first thing we want to do, maybe, is. Is it loud? Yikes! I need an anti grenade suit. I was just checking the, the volume. I might have to be less interesting for a while so that you don't have to worry about missing anything. There you are. Maybe that was not the, <laughs> the best Mexican standoff to go through. Is that a Mexican standoff? Does it count as a Mexican standoff? A Mexican standoff is when nobody 
can fire because, you know, as soon as one person goes down, I didn't... There we go. Uh, everyone starts shooting and everyone dies, right? But... Is it still... Oh, I didn't save it. <laughs> is it still a Mexican standoff if you can fire and that's fine? Because you're going to survive it. It is just bloody minded stubbornness. Probably that one. Wait, what? I can walk all over this. It's only those paths that do set it off. Ow. <laughs> so we went to see my parents because we don't get the opportunity to because we don't live that close anymore. I mean, we never really did live that close except for when we lived in the same place because they are my parents, but. Um, it's, it's far away now. It's a good journey. It does require a car. At least one car. And now we have a dog. We don't get that opportunity to really go anywhere all that often. Um, without serious planning. So we spent a while there. But my parents' dog is five years old, they said. Our dog is five months old. You can see how this might... Uh, sort of affect the relationship. They have a terrier and we have a border collie. So it's a very strange situation where our border collie is insanely excited by new things like getting to hang out with their dog. But their dog is insanely, ex insanely excited by other things like fireworks <laughs> and other unwarranted and unwelcome noises and revelry around the Christmas period. Unwelcome because the dog goes insane. But our dog is just like, whatever, <laughs> where are you going? Learning bad habits. Ah, uh, but Jack, their dog. Thought that thing roared at me. Why? How dare you make such noises? Uh, was not happy to be uh, host to this extremely annoying puppy who does, wanted nothing more than to just climb all over him and play, 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 play. Very much like me around young children, or indeed teenagers. I think Kenzie, our dog, currently is of a teenager ilk. Um, in dog terms, basically. Or dog in human terms. In dog years, she's a teenager. I'm assuming that down there is now she water as well. Uh, and Jack is rightfully annoyed by all teenagers all the time. Did we go down here in the past anyway? Yes, because we have to climb out here. I remember. Fair Let's not pick that up yet because we're going to need some HP at some point. The nins are nice. Thank you for the nins. So we come back from that at a silly time of night. Honestly, that was not an intentional time of night to have come back from... Um, Manchester, it was like 11 o'clock or something, that we left. It's a two-hour drive. Oh, jumped off the side by accident. Let me out, let me out. I know, it hurts, I'm screaming. Um, two-hour drive at night. I didn't realise it was so late. I have this sort of blind spot for the time sometimes, whereby I forget to pay attention to what the time is I, I do stuff and don't let the time as was sort of uh, it doesn't come into account when I reckon what the time is after I've done stuff so I forgot <laughs> to remember that it was going to be later than 9 o'clock when we left because I went for a lie down at 9 o'clock and then I sort of assumed that nothing could possibly go wrong and then it was basically 11 o'clock and I was going, oh, we should leave now and everyone else was going, why? <laughs> but no one sort of takes me aside and goes, are you sure you want to do this? You know it's 11 o'clock, right? The... I don't, I'm not saying that I would do that for anybody else. It's not like I would expect people to realise this. Simply that... I didn't realise I was doing it myself, and as a result of the fact that nobody goes, are you, you know, 100% with it most of the time, and I'm not 100% with it most of the time. Anything in here? 
No, it's just a baddie trying to get. There's another one. Stop swinging that sword! Jeez Louise. This flashing, by the way, I apologise. Didn't know it was going to be here. If this is causing you a headache, look away. Of course, we've walked out of it, so now it's a little bit too late for me to tell you that you should have looked away uh, in the past. But here we are. Guess I'll do I can deal with it. We already dealt with the majority of these uh, right back at the start of the level when we looked down the shaft and the, the staircase there. And just chucked a few grenades in to see what would happen, and what happened was that everything died, which is what I wanted to happen. So, I wish people would. <laughs> I don't know about you lot, but sometimes I do need people just to take me aside and say, Are you okay? Secrets 2 of 2 kills. Yep, we're done. Happy Christmas. So it's good to come back. We have just uh, recovered from a snafu, which I am fully blaming on YouTube's new horrendous and awful interface. I say fully blaming. Much like the uh, much like the debacle of the two new discs, there is some shared blame here. I. I don't deny it, but at the same time, most of it is not me because I'm not prepared to take the blame for that. Nevertheless, YouTube's new interface, I don't know if this is the case on the previous interface to be quite honest with you, um, but it doesn't seem as problematic if it was the case, which is that um, what it seems to do, what YouTube's new interface does, is the videos that you have done stuff with float to the top. Uh, and they've got very small thumbnails as well, which is a second concern. It's a secondary concern, but it, they kind of work together here, because you not change weapons for no reason. I'm <laughs> trying to kill things that are shooting grenades at me. Good, 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 good. Well done. We took a bit of damage there, but I think we'll, we'll live. As long as things like this keep, don't keep wandering around the corner and just trying to find me. That hurt. I think that hurt me, and I didn't really notice. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, basically, the upshot was, I had videos that I hadn't released that were so far down, because I waited a while after I recorded the first episodes of Quake here, before I released them. I kept releasing Dead Cells and um, Cataclysm, and that was it. And I wanted to have a little bit of a backlog of, of this particular game before I started releasing them, because I'd like to sort of release them without too many gaps, besides the gap that we took at Christmas because we were away. Uh, so, there was a lot of Cataclysm and Dead Cells episodes which, you know, come through pretty quickly. You just play until you die, or you play for half an hour in Cataclysm, uh, and it, it, it's inexpensive to record. You don't have to talk too much, we just explain everything that's going on all the time, but it's that confusing. But, um, I mean, quite difficult. I wish I had a crosshair. Why don't I have a crosshair? Seriously. Ah, I am. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you just talk a lot about Cataclysm when you're playing Cataclysm. That's easy enough. That looks like a thing for me, so I'm going to go and try and find it. We should save this. Uh, oh, thank you for telling me where that was, actually. Because just in case, I would like to know that I can recover my save if I know where to copy it from. Um, what were we talking about? I, I don't remember. <laughs> Die! There you go. Look, colour. Woo, run away. Okay, we're all, we're all exploded. No more. You're dead. Hooray! I'm just going to wander around and let all the zombies make themselves known. That way I can just chuck grenades up in their faces. Never have to worry about them again. We've got plenty of rockets. So I'm not concerned about wasting ammo on them. It would be more of a waste to not, uh, not get rid of them and then come back later. And... Thank you. Uh, find that we should have properly dealt with them. Maybe we should um, 
We haven't got a rocket launcher yet, although I know one exists. Did we get one in the last episode? The last um, Quake episode, not the last this episode. I don't know. I've already forgotten what I was yakking on about just now. This is what happens when you just talk and talk and talk and fight. Any of these break or anything like this? No. Worth a try. Worth a try. Oh, there's a rocket launcher right now. This seems familiar. Great. No nails for my nail gun, please. So anyway. But keep buying too much stuff. I was complaining about YouTube. I was complaining about YouTube. Allow me to continue to complain about YouTube because I feel it's salient and relevant in all situations. Uh, the reason it happened is that all of those episodes that I recorded floated to the top. And I didn't notice that there were Quake episodes waiting for thumbnail. Well, I did, but I thought that I'd scroll down far enough to get to the first one. Um, so the, the thing that I'm taking blame for is simply not um, naming my videos before I upload them. You know, that would usually be a sensible idea, is to have a way so that when you look at your videos in the future, you can see what episode one is. Look, we're clipping. Stop that. And, you know, clipping, just scroll to it. You know, I'm not going to upload uh, thumbnail one for episode one if it doesn't say episode one on it, but it didn't, it just had a date on it. And the thumbnail, which is pre-generated, all Quake thumbnails look exactly the same. Another thing to note. So, I'm scrolling down going, oh, this is probably the first episode, not confirming it in any way. I know what I wanted to call it. Here's another thing. When I... Um, when I release videos in Cataclysm or Dead Cells, I usually give it... Wow, I finished by that time. I usually give it a little bit of a look at, just to see what happened in that episode, just to come up with a simple title. But for the first three episodes of Quake, I knew exactly what was going on. Well, at least for the first two episodes of Quake, and then... Episode 3, I went, what's this one all about? Oh, this is Cthon. How did we get to Cthon in three episodes? That seems far-fetched, but not infeasible. If it was completely infeasible, then sure, I would have realised immediately, but it, it wasn't infeasible? It seemed perfectly sensible that with the speed that we're playing this game, you can get to that Cthon within... Uh, I guess it would be an hour and a half, which does sound a little bit far-fetched right now, but... Hello. Thank you for this. Does this uh, count down? It does if you can take damage. <laughs> That's for sure. Yikes. Oh, nice one. You go and find him. Oh, are you going to path all the way? Do you know the way? No, do you? Coward. You can shoot him. <laughs> Heard that. Did you hear that? I don't want to be flanked by some loser. Where's the where's the floaty ghosty thing? I can hear it in my left ear. Have I got my ears on the right way around? I think so. Where did it go? Storming Nora. Hey, get out of it! Did you hear that splash as well? Something is splashing into the water. What is splashing in the water? Can you tell it not to? If I stand here, you can't get me. It's a silly design decision. Anyway. There's a reason we call it a snafu. Probably happens all the time. I see you. Did I just ignore you on the way through last time, or what? Fair enough. Seeker is one of four. I guess it tells us. I didn't realise it told us. That's what Avax called uh, creative vision. Thank him for giving me a way out. Um, which means that I don't have to really concern myself too much. Uh, creative vision is where you sort of don't really pay attention to the screen in front of you because you're too busy commentating or playing or basically you are... You, you kind of hurry up. You don't pay as much attention to the world around you when you are making videos of games. I don't know if it's true of any other creator type. But if you're making videos of games at least, 
tend to sort of skim through things and not read them properly and, 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 and etc. I'm having a proper look around because I'm half expecting to see um, buttons on the ceiling and nonsense like that that mean that I really should be paying more attention to the world around me um, because a, a button in the ceiling is okay. uh, obviously a secret and there's three more to find. Anyway, those lost episodes have been recovered. I was tempted to start, um... What? I was tempted to start using the episode number at the start of the video as sort of the introduction. But I'm not sure about that. I'll think about it. Interesting. Very interesting. Can we get from there to there? Let's try that. Good Z-axis work in this level. I like it. Yes. Does this hurt? No. This is the way back in if you decide to go this way. Okay, thought it might be a secret, but no. Uh, I've been watching Direwolf play Minecraft. I mentioned Minecraft earlier. We'll get back to that. What are we on? 20 minutes. I feel like I've talked about a lot of stuff, but very haphazardly, as is my way. How much damage do you take? Unbelievable. Job. Oh, that's bio bio suit. That means we need to have a look at something that could be... There we go. This is the bad water right here, isn't it? Didn't press the button! Nuts. Probably gonna die anyway. You push the button anyway? Yeah. We might die, which will absolve me from not pressing that button. If we don't die, which is likely because I'm now in the water. There's a shambler. Why is there a shambler? Well, I had to go quiet because I could think of nothing. Mm. Drink that tea faster, it's going cold. Uh, yes, load this game, please. We didn't really get very far. <laughs> oh. This is why I save scum. Remember, children, it's not shameful. Unless you are really, really just saving every 30 seconds, which is more of the definition of save scum in my book. It's not shameful to save just every so often because of how far back you're going to have to go, if you don't. That's just pragmatism. You know what Radiohead say? Pragmatism, not idealism. I exploded myself. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, let's try this again. I've only got 35 HP. Doesn't seem like enough on the face of it. Jib them. So you're a little bit stubborn with the uh, actually hitting the enemies thing. Again, if I could figure out a crosshair. I might do that between episodes. If you come back in the next episode and lo and behold, there's a crosshair. And I've done it. I have used the power of Google to fix all of my problems. Which is how everybody does everything these days. We are millennials after all. Thank you for grenade launch. We know we're about to get a rocket launcher. Why do we run sideways so much faster than we run forwards? Surely if we just go sideways everywhere, then we're going to be you know, done with the game that much faster, right? That seems sensible. Guys, where did the knight come from? <laughs> Must have aggroed it. Um, I know it was on patrol the last time we came around. Probably just aggroed it. Come on, enough of this. Dude, stop. Sensible. Very good. 49 HP. We will pick up. What's the head? How to get ahead in navigating and other such monkey island puns. Take this and then we'll shoot these. Can't surprise me anymore. Mostly because I've already done it. And secondly, because this is a 90s game and I'm a second century. Second. I'm a millennial, basically. Okay? I know how video games work, and everything that is free is a trap. Which is actually uh, not just video games, that is a cynical but accurate depiction of the entirety of how the world works. I do wonder what that opens. Maybe we should try not opening it. I've not got always run on! You probably noticed that and I didn't. Just, yes. Quake spasm. Have I never had it on? Uh, 
I've got vanilla always runners. This isn't a thing I've heard of. Did you just dodge my grenade? That is extremely rude. What was that? Where did that grenade come from? What, 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 what? Did it bounce off of something I didn't notice? Most likely. Nevertheless. I feel a little bit hard done by. Oh, now we're moving with speed. Now we're cooking with monkey juice powder. Hello? There you are. We always have always run. This is 21st century. I mean, it wasn't. I, I, you know, I'm not disputing the fact that this game was free always run, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. I mean, we, we've got the hang of it, is what I'm saying. Because it's just that much easier to get out of the way of things. I don't want to uh, artificially. Um, artificially crippled speed stat, do I? Oh, hello. I've only got 17 ganails, so I'm probably gonna... This is an opportunity to not have always run, but, like, at the same time. We can just press shift. It's easier, it's better and easier to turn it off than on, in my opinion. You've opened the secret for me. What an absolute legend. What a pal. I think they're not on your side, but they really are. They're just misunderstood, you know? So, yeah, there's another one of those. Okay. This, I don't think these enemies come out as a result of me finding that secret. I think they just were already there, and when I found the secret, they jumped me. Because <laughs> that was the point they're supposed to show up. Thank you for that armor. There's just plenty of it. Yeah, see, this joke is already there as well. Hey, stop it. Not really got that much uh, in the way of um, shells either, to be honest. That was good though. Appreciate that. Plenty of nails, but we really want to use less of those if possible because they the travel time is the problem. That's all I'm saying. Travel time on nails it means a lot of them miss. It's wasteful. Also, it doesn't make that much of a noise when you get seriously injured, this quake person. Unnamed Marine. Are you even a Marine? What is your goal? What, like, who are you? The weird thing about Quake, which is even weirder than Doom, considering when I first played Doom, I had no idea what was going on. Right, so let's, let's do this properly. Um, is the way you just start in this lobby. <laughs> I mean, Doom itself was divided into... Um, I'm going to save it here, just because Doom itself is divided into episodes. No dispute in that. But. Let's see. Is this one that moves? Yes. We're dead. Okie dokie. Good stuff. <laughs> Not a lot of boy can do right here. Being quite honest. Where did my platform go? Let me out. Let me out. It did let me out, so I would definitely give them that in their favour. I'm not sure if I want to go back up there. But I'm going to. All I have to my name are rockets right now. Rockets, rockets, rockets. So we're going to be very careful and get rid of this shambler. Can that shambler not shoot this far? Please make that be true. I've gone quiet because I'm waiting. I'm, biding, I'm baited breath. I'm biding my time. I've got a lot of these rockets, which is very helpful. And I'm very appreciative that there's not just a range on the shamblers, but that the range is such. Do you see what I mean? Also. Right, so now I'm hoping that there's basically a way back to the start of this level, because otherwise that was a complete waste of time and effort. Yikes! That was a great shot for not having a crosshair. There is. Okay, good. Now that I've learned, I want to not do what I did. <laughs> Yeah, I know enough now to not make the same mistakes again. I wish that I knew what I know now when I was younger. 
What? Hello? Things keep opening. This is the weirdest fortress. Mm. Okay. Cool. Cool. Thank you for armor. Which was there from a long time ago because I didn't need it then, and now I do. Because literally the mm. entirety of this place just threw itself at me, and not in the not in the fan way. No ammo except for rockets still. Oh, this is going to be a difficult one. That looks um, compelling. No. So a ledge and I thought, oh, ledge, that means secrets. Not always true, so you don't have to worry about it. More tea before it gets cold. Anyway, the old YouTube interface is so much better. And the reason I consider it that much better uh, is you didn't lose videos. See, what I hadn't noticed is that on the new interface there is a, a symbol that means that it's visible or not, and it's just an eye. It's a stylized eye icon of an eye. Give me for saying all those syllables. Um, I have to be here. That's even worse. <laughs> Monsters. Still a trap. We're not safe yet. Save it. Okay. We're okay. That's the hurty water. Kind of want to go in it? We just saved it. Let's see what's in here. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. Uh, and I didn't notice there were videos, and that's a snafu. I didn't notice there were videos. And I don't know how such a thing would happen. So I go in there. Haha. <laughs> I like that they've actually put that much effort into it. Like, a little bit of attention to make that hole. Just for that to exist, it's, that's all it was there for. Right, I've got a little bit of ammo, but not very much. So let's use this. No, it's a terrible idea. Do that again. Yikes. Okay, good. Appreciate there not being a weapon switch animation. Even if it's quick, it's a delay. A delay that I'm not into at this stage. <laughs> Where you at? You dead. Good. This is why I've got so many rockets, by the way. There's millions of these grenade launch bastards. Pardon my French, Google team, mind. But I don't know what you've got against French, so actually, don't pardon it. It's perfectly. Acceptable language with nothing but swear words. There is a language on the Discord with only one. I'm stuck. Only one uh, noun, which is obscene. What is it? One nail left. Not enough nails. So I was trying to play Minecraft, and the reason I was watching Direwolf is because I was having a look back over the old uh, modded Minecraft scene again. Just to see what's up. Of course, Direwolf20 is the modded Minecraft everything person. And he introduces every single episode with an episode number. Welcome to episode, is this episode something? I'm not quite sure. Or whatever we're doing, right? But I can really appreciate the value of that. Because if you get lost and you're not sure which video is which, you just play the start of it. And you have to suffer your own voice. But you have to do that anyway if you're looking through an episode to see what it, what it is. It's a weird map. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't want to waste ammo on it because I don't have very much. Uh, <laughs> kind of got us into a little bit of a strange situation. So now I don't want to go up there because I'm scared. Uh, I'm hoping that there's some more HP around here just for me to grab quickly. Because, ooh, oh, oh, hello. I don't think so. You meanies. Are you seeing this? That's really, I'm, that's funny. Thank you, Id, for showing me something from the past that I still find amusing. That's very good. I don't think so. There's obviously some way to open that. What it is, ain't exactly clear. You have no chance because I know how to aim over this. Where's that? Exploding, we're good. Stop. Uh, 
I really want to know how to get to it. So now I'm going to... I'm reluctant to go anywhere further. Simply because... I did that. Oh, it opened up the... How about you? Right, let's get in there quick while this quad's still alive. It's a long way around. It's not a short journey at all. But we have got a great advantage to our names now. I know it's... <laughs> Thank you for the advice, but I'm really just trying not to die. You die? You die. I'm very glad we can use... Uh, not nine inch nails for this. That was great. That was actually a really good time to find that quad just now. Well, we've done this episode. We've done this level. We've done this episode, I think. Thank you for watching. I think this is a very good episode. I did waffle on a little bit. Just wanted to explain that I screwed up. I did only find two or four secrets, but at least I got the good two secrets, I think. At least two of the best secrets. This looks like there might be something up there. I don't know. Um... I did screw up, but go back and watch those first two episodes if you want to. I do waffle on in those as well, and I know that you like that. Uh, I hope you had a good Christmas and a good New Year, and I hope that everybody had somewhere to be and someone to be there with. And if you didn't, my condolences, but may this year be better for you. But until the next episode, thank you for watching, and I'll see you.